Hi, I'm Angie. I want to welcome you to National Indoor RV Centers, where we specialize in the sales, storage, service, and detailing of only high-end, new, and used coaches. So basically, we do it all. Hi, I'm Angie with National Indoor RV Centers, and today I'm super excited to show you the 2021 Winnebago Vista. Now, this is the 35U floor plan. This is your entry level gas coach, very high quality. It's a comfy cruiser. You can take the whole family, it's the fun thing to do. You're going to have a great time. Can't wait to show you all the features built into this coach. So one of the things I'm going to show you as I go through this video is the quality that Winnebago builds in. So the first thing I'm going to point out is they have a super seal structure right here in the front cap. So your windshield is mounted to that steel superstructure. So are your cab seats, so are all your cabinets inside the coach and any appliances. Just gives you great strength, um, nice ride as you're going down the road. A lot of other manufacturers will mount their windshield into the fiberglass. Now let's talk about fiberglass. So Winnebago is actually a manufacturer of RVs. They're not just a parts assembler. Uh, they make 70 to 75% of the parts that go into this RV. So that's super unusual, really cool. Make sure you check out my Winnebago factory video, video where I go through all of that in detail. I think you're gonna be amazed. If you can't come do the tour yourself, you gotta check out the factory tour that I do because it's amazing. One of the things that I show is the fact that Winnebago actually makes this fiberglass front cap. They also make that aluminum grill there. They have a, a aluminum extrusion machine that picks these billets of aluminum and then they have thousands of molds that they make. So the cool thing about that is if you buy a Winnebago and you need a part, it's not like, an, it's not like the auto industry where they have parts for years. In the RV industry, you know, a couple years down the road, it's hard to get parts. Well, at Winnebago, since they make their own parts, give them a call, they can give you a replacement. So it's huge. So let's start at the top of this front cap. We have our marker lights. You can also see our antenna there at the top. Then we come down to the windshield. Now note the way the windshield is mounted. Again, automotive style, very sleek. They can do that because they mount that right into the steel superstructure. And along with that, you have a very small A-pillar on each side of your windshield. If you know other manufacturers, they have a much bigger A-pillar because they need to have that for support of the roof. Since we have that steel superstructure in there, we can have a smaller A-pillar. That gives us more of a panoramic view as we're going down the road. Then also, the windshield wipers are mounted into steel as well. We have the beautiful Winnebago name right across the front. I love that nice grill led headlights all right so let's see what's behind the hood you just have to unlock both sides and then it just comes right down nice and easy so we've got our brake fluid here our power steering fluid and way back up in here we've got the fill for our oil our ac condenser here and then we've got our radiator We've got our dipstick for our oil, and that's gonna be much different than your typical dipstick here. Quite a bit longer, so make sure you take that all the way out. We've got our trans dipstick and fill, and then we've got our coolant and our windshield wiper fluid. While I've got you here, I want you to notice how much steel is in this compartment. Everything is attached by steel. So safety and just durability built into this coach. And all the steel has been e-coated to resist rust. So check that out also in my factory tour video. As we come around to the passenger side of the coach, we've got our marker light here. We've got our side view camera. And then you're gonna notice that we have the chrome mirror. So let me tell you a little something about the chrome mirrors. This coach is optioned in with the partial full body paint. So this exterior is the pewter sea mist exterior and there's one other partial full body paint that you can choose from the other two options are just the graphics with the graphics you will get the black mirror with the partial you get the chrome exterior mirrors the exterior mirrors are internally controlled and have defrost the vista comes with the alcoa aluminum rims and they are the durabrite rims so you don't need to polish them just wash them off and you're going to be good to go all right, we have the exterior TV. 
and 32 inch exterior TV. This is a great part. You've got a strap here. So you just pull that to release and then you can swivel your TV out. Now this is huge because you can direct it away from the sun. And then I want to point out the back of the TV. I don't always show the back of the TV, but Winnebago makes its own brackets for the TV. They are super sturdy. It doesn't wiggle around. You can feel it when you pull the TV out. It's just so nice and they've got the cable looms here so they finish it off nice and tidy and we've got our exterior speaker so you can either switch between the radio have it playing outside or the tv and then when you're all done it just snaps back in nice and tight all right then we have our first storage compartment this is nice and big another thing while i'm hitting winnebago <laughs> they make their own doors so again a lot of times it's your baggage doors that take the beating um, the, the rocks that you don't see when you make that turn, you might damage this door. You've got everything you need to know about the door right here. So you can go to our service department, National Indoor RV Centers. We can call Winnebago, get a replacement door for you, no problem. All right, so inside this compartment, we have lots to talk about. We have two 110 outlets. Now, so if you want to plug something into your coach from outside and still shut your door, you've got a little port here that you can thread that cord through so you can still shut your door. And it's a lighted compartment and then we've got this big area here and the space that would be great for like lawn chairs, you know, maybe a small kayak can go right in there. Anyway, it's a really big space. All right, so if it's a nice hot day and you wanna watch the TV or just hang outside, you're gonna want some shade. So we do have the nice awning and the controls are just right inside the door. So you're just gonna go ahead. There's some protective fabric at the very top of the awning that has some, It's that's where you're gonna get a rip in your awning typically, so they've given you a little bit extra strength there against the sun. Awning also comes with LED lights, so you can direct that light too, straight down towards the coach just by um, taking the awning a little bit out or a little bit further in. You can also adjust the pitch of your awning. So I've gone and raised my end over here and lowered my end over here because my pathway's this way. I wanna keep all the mud running off this front corner rather than where my path is. All right, we also can turn off the coach batteries right here at the front entry door, so on or off. And then we have our front entry step. So this is really nice. Once you get to the campground, you don't want the step to keep going in and out every time the door is open. So you wanna go ahead and turn it off. Then when you go to turn it back on, you have to move the little red lever there. And now it's gonna go in and out when you open a door. Here's your patio light. This light comes on when you turn on your outside patio light to illuminate the stairwell to keep you safe. And then this is a ceiling light for when you get into the coach and two 110 outlets. Right inside the front door, we've got a little storage compartment where you can store, you could put dirty shoes in here so that you don't have to bring them into the coach. Anyway, it's nice that it's right here, very accessible by the front door and you reach in, just open it super easy. Right under the front step, we have our two coach batteries and our chassis battery. Right here by the front entry door, I love, Winnebago just kind of thinks of everything. So we've got our little pet pal here. We can tether our pet to this, or if you want to lock up some bikes while you're gone, you can go ahead and lock up bikes or anything that you want to protect while you're away from your coach. All right, so here we have our pass-through storage compartment. And there's quite a few things to look down here and see. I want to just let you know that you can see your freshwater tank back in the back there. I'll show you that from the other side too. So that's another cool thing that Winnebago makes. So in making their own holding tanks, they can customize the size exactly for the floor plan. So you can maximize the size of your tank. If you buy it from another supplier, you have to just, they're gonna give you one tank and it's gonna be this dimension by this dimension. You've gotta make it work in your coach. When you make your own, you can make it to fit. So very cool. Then we've got light in here, pass-through compartment, and another big compartment here. Now also inside this comp compartment is we have our 1000 watt pure sign inverter. Just wanna bring your attention to the two speakers outside the coach. So again, you can put your radio out here or you can use those for your TV. 
Then we've got our marker light midship for the coach, our water heater for the coach, and our vent for our refrigerator. Here we have our engine exhaust, and then we go back to our next compartment here. So this is another little pass-through area and a lit baggage compartment. All right, believe it or not, there is more storage on this passenger side of the coach. Another huge compartment. We've got our slide room controller here and a lit compartment. We have our last marker light for the passenger side of the coach. We come around, we've got our aluminum bumper. Again, another part that Winnebago makes. We've got our marker lights at the top of the end cap. Then we have our rear view camera. We have our high brake light and we have our window. Love the window, love having a window in the bedroom because if I'm out camping, I wanna bring the outside in and that really helps. We've got the exhaust for our furnace. This is really nice because it's not on the passenger side of the coach. So we're out enjoying the outdoors. We could still be running the furnace inside and we're not having that exhaust out by the patio. Then we've got our 5,000 pound hitch with a 500 pound tongue weight. So that means you're gonna be able to easily tow your Jeep Wrangler with this stuff. And we've got the exhaust for our generator here. Also, we have this nice ladder. It will support up to 225 pounds. Another thing that Winnebago does, they use laser guides. So when they're getting this prepped for the ladder, they're gonna have steel plates behind there. The laser guide is going to ensure that when we screw the ladder in, it's going into a steel plate not just into the back of a fiberglass wall. So let's talk a little bit about the roof. We have a full one-piece fiberglass roof. What supports that roof? We have the steel superstructure, plus we have the interlocking joints that are the frame of this coach. So it's very structurally strong. We have the optional 115 watt solar panel on the roof with a port for additional plugins if you want to add solar. All right, here we have our first marker light for the driver's side of the coach, or last, depending on which inch you're starting at. <laughs> and then we've got our Onan generator. So this is the 5,500 watt Onan generator, which comes standard for this floor plan, the 35U. We have the fuel fill for our 80 gallon gas fuel tank, and you can just use regular unleaded gas. Then we've got our 50 amp shore power cord on the 35U and the power transfer switch all in here nice and neat and then this is the other half of our smaller pass through here again it's lit as well and then we've got the little access port here or service inlet so once we're camping I can thread my cord through here and still shut my compartment door. We have our wet bay here. So we've got our filter for the entire uh, coach here. We've got a light switch, which is really nice if you end up having to hook up or disconnect in the dark. Also, if you wanna see how I hook everything up and disconnect, go to my RVing 101 videos where I start a trip from my pre-trip checklist to driving, getting to the campground, hooking up, and then breaking down camp at the end. I think you'll find it interesting. So this is where we can plug in another solar panel. So you have a 30 amp charge controller inside your coach, so you can take up to 450 watts. You've got the 115 on the roof. Say you're in this nice shaded campground like we are today, you want some solar power, you can bring a mobile solar panel, plug it in here and walk it out to the sunshine and get a little extra solar power. We've got our input connections for our portable, portable satellite dish for our main portable satellite dish and our cable and our freshwater inlet so we can hook up our hose to city water. Then we have our black waste tank flush inlet and our freshwater valve and our black waste tank drain. So this is our T-bar here for our black tank and our T-bar for our gray tank. So on the 35U, you have a 74 gallon freshwater tank. You have a 57 gallon gray tank and a 41 gallon black tank. Then you can hook up your stinky slinky or sewer hose right here, thread that through right here. And you've also got a little port here where you can thread your hose, your water hose through, and then shut that 
We have our freshwater drain and our low point drains, and you can see that Winnebago color codes in form. So these are our hot, this is our cold, and if you need to winterize your coach, this is where you would uh, put this into your antifreeze so you could winterize a coach. Now, if we are lucky enough to have you as a storage customer at National Indoor RV Centers at any of our locations where we store at least 300 coaches in each location, always hooked up to 50 amp service or 30 amp service, whatever is appropriate. You don't have to worry about winterizing your coach. The great thing about that is that means you can use it year round. Just give us a call. We'll fill up your freshwater tank, check your tire pressure and take the coach outside for you. You can drive up, pick it up and you're on your way. All right, another huge storage compartment and we've got a little lever here to keep it open, which is great when you've got your slide room out. And then you can see it connects to this room. So that gives you a really big compartment there if you wanna put something long in here. Also while I'm here, also I want you to see our fresh water tank. Look how long that tank is. One of the things that Winnebago can do since they make their own tanks, they can make that long and thin and then it equalizes the weight distribution in the coach to get, again, give you a smoother ride. And we have a circuit breaker box right here, so you can just easily reset that and they are clearly labeled. And behind our last door on the driver's side is our 18 gallon propane tank. So this is gonna be for your furnace, your water heater, and your refrigerator. You can run your refrigerator off of LP or 110. Now, I don't see a quick connect for a gas grill, but we can easily add that for you at National Indoor RV Centers. And we've got the pump for your hydraulic jacks. All right, we have our side view camera for the driver's side of the coach, our external mirrors, and our marker light. All right, let's go inside and check out the interior. All right, so as I come in the Vista, I wanna talk first about the screen door. So it's really nice. This is another thing that Winnebago manufactures. So when you're out looking at RVs, test out the screen door because I promise you, nothing is as sturdy as the screen door that Winnebago makes itself. And I love this too. So look how easy it is to have the blackout curtain. You just hook it right there, blackout, and it's not this big device that's gonna make a lot of noise as you're going down the road. And then just unhook it, and you've got your screen. Super nice. Again, really nice grab bars when you're going in and out of the coach. And right here to my right, I've got our fire extinguisher, so you can easily get that from outside the coach or inside the coach. And then you've got three nice cubbies for storage. And then we have another cabinet right when we walk in the door. So this is our breaker box for the coach and our automatic uh, circuit breaker. So if we need to reset the lamps, we can just hit that right there or the TV monitor, really easy to reset, and then the breaker box. And then right next to it here, we have our light that's in the kitchen. All right, so then you're probably wondering if this is more storage up here. Well, it's not, but we've got a travel lock here, so just make sure that's open. And then you want to just release the lever here so we've got our over-the-air antenna here. You can just push that and lock onto local stations. And then if you want to add a satellite receiver, you can put that right here and then wire it through the top area back in here. And then I told you I'd point out the little W as we went through the coach. So here's our first one for the inside of the coach, little uh, key hook or hat hook, love that. All right, so now to the beautiful interior of the Vista. So this is the linen with the medium gray interior. When you choose that interior, it automatically comes with a driftwood. You have two other interiors that you can choose from. But I think this is just really pretty, nice and light, so it feels big. It is big, actually. <laughs> and then you can make it your own with whatever colors you wanna bring in here because it's so classic and neutral. So I've turned the two captain's chairs around so you can see how much seating we have here. So we have seat belts for one, two, three, four, five on the rear facing booth and then two in the forward facing booth with a child seat tether. So that means you've got seat belts for seven in this coach. As you can see, I've turned around the captain and co-captain's chair. This is nice just so you can see that you've got extra seating for your living room nice view of the TV. And another thing you can do here is you can have dinner. It's just the two of you, you want to 
sit in your chairs here, be comfortable and have dinner or play cards, you can easily do that. So there's a place to store all this back in your bedroom. You just put the leg right in there. Take your tabletop and put it on top here. And then you can easily swivel that back and forth, put it right in the middle, or say, I wanna work here, this is my office for the day. Very comfortable, I have my laptop up here and make this my workspace. All right, so we also have the optional bunk overhead. So if we have two people sleeping there, two people in the jackknife, two in the booth, two in the bed. How many is that? Sleeps comfortably eight people. So again, this is the Comfy Cruiser and that's why it gets its name. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do if you wanna bring that bed down is you've got a little safety strap here. You just need to push that in to release and then I'll walk back here and then you walk over here, you just need to turn the key on and then you can take that bed down. It's a power lift. So it's nice and easy. And then we've got our ladder. So the ladder will support 225 pounds and the bed itself will support 600 pounds. So look at all that space. There's really a lot of space up here, a lot of storage. We've got the speakers. So in that first compartment, we are pre-wired for a Wi-Fi booster and then right next to it is two 110 outlets. So you can charge your cellular device. Nice and deep and they've got the cargo nuts so nothing's gonna fall out of them. And well lit, ventilated because we've got ducted air and we have the push button light here. I also want to point out that Winnebago makes all of its own upholstered items. So our foam mattress pad here is made by Winnebago. Nice, dense, high density foam in here so it's going to be comfy. And then they've given us the wood slats here to even give us more of like a spring fill in our bed. So it's going to be nice and comfortable up there. All right, let's check out the storage that we have here. Look at all this. So. No divider, I love that. Nice deep storage, easy to get to. And then we've got our lights, our light switch that's right underneath the cabinet. But remember I told you anytime there's a cabinet, it is screwed into a metal plate. So they're nice and firm, they're not going anywhere. And then behind our panel here, we have our MCD blackout shades, super nice two cup holders here, and two 110 outlets. So now that we've got our black up shades up, we've got our overhead bed out, time to pull out our jackknife bed. So you're just gonna pull here to release, and then lift, push down the back. So easy, there's your bed. Look at the storage part compartment that we have behind the bed. And then I'm gonna show you that we have storage underneath the jackknife sofa as well. So, just as easy to put up. In fact, maybe easier. If you want to peek in there, you can see the storage, and then you have access to it through these front panels. Then we have our storage above our dinette. So, again, no divider. Look at all that space. We have our light switch for the under cabinet lights. And we've got our blackout shade. And then we've got our dinette. So first of all, I always like to show just how much space you have. So you can easily get four adults to this dinette. Lots of room here. And this is kind of a magic dinette. So there's a little lever on each side here and you just push up at the same time. And check that out. How awesome is that? So now you've got a space where you can, you know, put your placemats, put your cards. If you're using this for work, you can put your office materials here. A lot of people like to have a standing desk anymore, so you could use it for that. But I just love that they give you that extra feature. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and then to put it away, you just hold both sides and it pops back into place. Now, if you want to make this a bed, you're going to have to, there's another lever that's gonna allow us to lower the table. So I'm just gonna get that ready. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take my 
cushion backs here and put them on the table. And I can't wait to show you how much storage you have underneath your booth. So I'm gonna lift that back cushion up. And then while you're here, you can see that you've got a USB outlet and two 110 outlets underneath the table. And then over here, we've got the same thing. So I'm gonna raise that and then look at all that space. Now Winnebago doesn't give you the front drawer because you have more space without the drawer. So lots of storage in this Vista. Now, all I have to do is push the table down. There's my bed base. Bring my cushions down from the side. So nice snug fit, so you're gonna have a very comfortable bed. Okay, right outside the booth, we've got our two 110 outlets. And then let's head over to the kitchen. So we've got quite a bit of counter space here. We have the thermoform countertops and you'll notice there's no seam as you go around the edge so that's going to just help um, maintain them and better quality we've got the undermount double bowl stainless steel sink and the residential faucet which is really nice with the window right next to the sink and the countertop so you can get some cross breeze here when you're getting hot cooking in the kitchen and we've also got our blackout shade now check out the storage. Look at that nice big cabinet with an adjustable shelf just above the sink here. And we've got the light switch for those lights there and a light switch for underneath the microwave. A lot of times you don't get a light switch there. So it's nice that they're giving us that light here. It just comes standard. We've got our convection microwave oven. And ladies, don't be afraid to bake in there. You know, I would be making cookies um, Nettie, my customer that makes a beautiful loaf of bread, she does it in her convection microwave oven. I mean, beautiful. Looks like my mom made it. Then we've got our two 110 outlets here. So you've got a space for your coffee pot, your mixer, whatever. And we've got our three burner gas top stove here. And then let's look at all this storage we have. So I really love this. I love when they give you enough space for a full-size waste can. So easily I can get a nice big waste basket in here, no problem, love that. And then we've got our drawers, nice full extension drawers. A little bit deeper one here at the bottom. And then we have a nice one underneath our stove top. So we have our optional four door fridge. Now this is gonna run off of your LP or 110 power. And look at that, nice big freezer with an ice maker. Always love to have the ice maker so you don't have to worry about that. And really nice, lots of space, vegetable keeper, fruit keeper. So since you've got the whole family with you, most likely you're gonna have plenty of room. And just below the refrigerator, we have our LP or our uh, propane alarm and another big drawer. And here in the kitchen, we have our fan to vent the kitchen out when we're cooking. And then we've got our control panel here for the coach. First thing we have is our bed or our Euro loft. So we just have to turn that on and then push it down arrow. We've got our slide room controls for both of our slides. Now remember you have to have your park brake set and ignition on for those slide rooms to work. Then we have our solar charge controller. So we've got the one standard 115 watt solar panel on top of the roof. You can add more either at the roof access port or a mobile one down from your wet bay. We've got our generator start and stop and our gen hours right here. We can turn on our water heater and our water pump, and then we can get our tank level readings right here. So our LP is a third of the way full. One of the things I wanna talk about with Winnebago, your LP is a third full because they've tested those lines. They've tested all the LP lines to make sure there's no gas leak. You typically don't see that before a coach has left the factory. So it comes with LP in it for that reason. Then we have our battery levels. They're full, 
our fresh tank is empty, black tank is empty, and gray tank is empty. Then we have our controller for our AC unit. So this is for our living room AC, which is a 13.5 BTU. And we also have a 13.5 BTU for our bedroom. Now also on this, you can turn on your furnace. Your furnace is gonna be run by your propane tank. Then we have our inverter power and power off button right here. This is our power control system. So this is gonna shed the load. If you're overtaxing your system, it will automatically shut off one of your AC units and shed the load to protect the system. It will also let you know what you're plugged into so you can see that we're plugged into 30 amp service right now. But this does have a 50 amp shore power cord. All right, and then we have our cute little W. Are you keeping track of how many you've seen? I know there was one on the front, one at the front door here, so at least three, and I think we'll find some more before we finish. And then we've got our light for the hallway. Let's check out the bathroom. All right, so we have a really nice size bathroom for the coach. First of all, I love that they've given us three places that we can hang towels right here on the door. Then we've got the light switch for the bathroom. We've got our shower. We've got a travel lock on that shower. You wanna make sure you hit that before you start traveling. Again, if you want a copy of my pre-trip checklist, email me at angie at nirvc.com and you can also see that on my RVing 101 series. I'm gonna step into the shower here just so you can get an idea of how big it is. It's nice and roomy. You've got a skylight above you, so you've got some extra height here. You've got your handheld shower, or you can put it in the holder, hot and cold, and you've got little spots here for your soap and your razor and all that good stuff. We've got another towel bar, I love that. The mirror, the sink with the residential faucet here, and I love this. Again, a spot for a wastebasket, tall enough that you can actually put one in there that's a decent size. And you've got a drawer here for more items. And cubbies below, spot for your toilet paper, another big cubby, and two 110 outlets. All right, so who spotted the W? We've got another W hook, so another towel hook. Anyway, love those, aren't they cute? And then big cabinet here, lots of space another big cabinet really impressed with all the space and while you're here we can see that we've got our fan for the bathroom another towel hook and another towel bar and then we've got our toilet with the pedal control all right as i come out of the bathroom i wanted you to notice that when you open your bathroom door it gives you privacy into you this like changing area because we have the privacy door here to the bedroom but this gives us a little privacy if we want to change our clothes right here, which is really nice. Then we've got our big wardrobe here with our bars in here. And it's lit in here as well. We also have this spot. This is where our table, our front table stores when we're not using it between the captain and co-captain's chairs. And then we can turn on that light. So it makes that feel really roomy in there. And we've got the two drawers below. Nice full extension drawers. <laughs> I kept thinking they were going to be shorter, but look how big they are. And then we come back to our bedroom. We have our king size mattress back here, which is wonderful. We've got our little nightstands on either side. We've got a cubby here. And inside that cubby, we've got two USB ports and two 110 outlets. We go above the bed here we've got a push button light and then check out that storage above the bed all right so over here we have another big storage compartment push button light then we've got the padded headboard nice window here nice window here with a blackout shade again then we've got our nightstand we have two 110 outlets and two usb outlets here so you can charge all your devices while you're sleeping and then we've got our bed look we've got one more little w i think this might be our last one for the coach <laughs> and we have storage underneath our bed so look at all that storage so then we have our big emergency exit window plus it's just a great to have this big of a window in your bedroom i love that and then we can make this nice and dark in here by pulling our blackout shades 
Over here, we've got a nice console area here. Full length mirror, which you love, which, well, all of us ladies love that so we can see how we look. So really, this could be where you get ready in the morning. You could, this could second as an office. You've got a little desk or vanity area here. And we've got two USB ports, two 110, so we can plug in our computer or whatever we need. And then look at all the drawer space we have here. So we have lights right underneath the cabinets and our switch for those are right here. We've got more storage and our 24 inch TV. Just below the TV, we have the control for our AC in our bedroom. And these are, you can control the vents. So you can do, they call this the chill grill if you want to open it so you get a lot of cold directly in the room that you're in. Or you can shut this and then it decks it out through the whole coach if you want to spread the love and let everyone be cool. <laughs> then we've got our light here for the bedroom. One more cabinet. Look at that, nice adjustable shelves. And then we've got three more drawers. So we just have a ton of space in this coach for everything. So again, this is the Comfy Cruiser. You can comfortably take your family, have plenty of storage for your clothes, your food, and games. You're just gonna have a great time. All right, so it's always a must to show the slides in. I have full access to my king size bed. So if I just want to pull over, you know, in a rest stop or something, don't want to take my slides out, easily just sleep on my king bed. Full access to your bathroom. Full access to your refrigerator and freezer. Obviously, I could be here cooking, at the sink, in the booth. Look at all this space. All right, so we're finally to the front cab and dash area. So first of all, chairs, super comfortable, very easy to use. We've got a couple levers right here. This front one is gonna let us rotate the chairs when we're not driving. And the back one is gonna let us go forward and backwards. And this is for our backrest so we can recline it or bring it back up. So you just get ready to drive. All ready to go now. To my left, we've got the controls for our exterior mirrors, left and right. And we've got our nightshade, so we can put that down up here. We also have our MCD black light shades for our driver and passenger. We have our map light just above me, and we can turn on the heat in our mirrors when we need to. Drink holder. Then we've got our battery boost button. You're gonna use that battery boost if you come back to your coach and you can't get it started, batteries are dead. So what you wanna do is tie your chassis batteries to your house batteries. Hopefully you'll get enough power that then you can then start your generator, let that run for just a little bit, and then start your engine. So super important button. We have our traction control button here and I'm always just gonna keep that on. And then we've got our hydraulic leveling jacks that are automatic. So. Once you get to the campground, you want to put your jacks down. You just have to make sure your park brake is set and that your ignition is on. Then go ahead and hit the power button and you're going to auto level. It will walk you through what it's doing. All right, auto level, level successful. Now we can just Turn off the system, turn off our ignition. It's set. When we are ready to leave, we just turn on the ignition, hit the power. It's gonna give us an alarm, letting us know that our jacks are down. Turn it on and we're gonna go retract. All right, our jacks are up and we are all done. So power off the system. All right, so then this is the dim and brightness for our dash. So we can take it down or brighten it. And then this is our light control. So we've got our daytime running lights, our headlights, and our auto lights. So I'm just gonna keep it on auto. It takes care of everything for me here. Here's our park brake. So we just push that to engage it and we pull this to release it. 
the steering column, telescopes, and tilts. So you can put that where it's best for you and then lock it into place. So we have our windshield wiper control, so we can just go high, medium, low and push in for windshield wiper fluid. And we have our high beams, so if we want to flash them, pull forward, if we want to keep them on, we just push the paddle away from us. All right, so here is our control for a lot of the information on our dash. Look at that nice dash, very easy to see. And we just hit the OK button and we go up to our main menu and then we can scroll through different information. So we have our trip information and we could scroll through that. We can go to our fuel economy. Driver assist, which is really going to give you your engine hours, voltmeter, maintenance monitor. So tells you your oil life. Settings, so vehicle settings, your lights you want your auto lamp to lay on or off you could set that there wiper control do you want a courtesy wipe courtesy wipe do you want a courtesy wipe click it and go back display settings so temperature language so you can personalize that so super easy right in the center of the dash we've got our hazards and we also have our Bluetooth microphone. Then we've got our cruise control, so on and off, set, cancel, resume, and then once you're in cruise control, you can go up in small increments here or down in small increments there. We've got our horn, and then we've got our transmission control here, so we go from park, reverse, neutral, drive. We can also manually shift up or down right here, and then we have tow haul mode. When you put your coach in tow haul mode, it will delay upshifting to decrease stress on your transmission. And then we have our radio. So this is great. You're gonna have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, um, Sirius Ready, Bluetooth capabilities. It's great. Okay, so we have our fan control for our AC and heat. Then we've got our AC. We've got our cold and our hot, our recirculating air, and then we can direct that airflow and our defrost. Now this button is for, your. right now we've got it so that we can play the radio when we're driving down the road. If you want to have the radio in your coach once you're at the campground or outside on your speakers outside, you're gonna go ahead and flip that switch so now the radio is working off of your house batteries rather than your chassis batteries. And then we've got storage below here and we've got a USB port here. This is where you're gonna plug in if you wanna use your Apple CarPlay or your Android Auto. So the co-captain's chair is as comfortable as the captain's chair. Then we have this cool little desk here. I love how it just flips over. Isn't that nice? It just works so easy, very innovative. And then we've got our USB ports here. So if I need to work while I'm going down the road, which is most likely what's gonna happen, I can plug in here, which is great. And then when I'm done, I've got a little area here that I can put some notes, pens, paper, all that good stuff, and just close up shop. Easy as that. I've got a drink holder and my map light. And then right behind me, I've got two 110 outlet. Again, with a small A pillar, I don't really have much blocking my view. So great view from the front, big window from the side. I can open it here. I can also pull down my nightshade now when I do that, since the Winnebago does have such a small A pillar, there's gonna be a little corner that would be exposed. So they've given us little snap-in blinds and they're just super easy. Here's the one for the driver's side. So you just put the narrow side up at the top, snap it in, snap this in at the bottom, and then you eliminate that little peekaboo window otherwise. So did I happen to mention one of the biggest features that is new for 2021 on the Winnebago Vista? 
So this sits on the F53 Ford chassis with a 7.3 liter V8 engine, otherwise known as a Godzilla engine. So really cool. You're going to love it. It has immediate pickup. Um, you'll get to see that. So we have more torque, more power, and the only way for you to really see it is obviously come with me on this test drive, but why don't you come out to National Indoor RV Centers and take one out for a test drive yourself. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull out here. Now, if you've never driven a Class A gas coach, you'll probably be a little nervous in the beginning. You don't have to be nervous. They actually fit in the lane. Doesn't feel like they're going to at first, but they do. Um, what I always advise people, and what I was told probably like 10,000 times if I heard it once, when I first started driving was to hug the left side of the lane that you're driving in. Now, make sure you listen to me. Don't drive in the left lane. You'll make everyone mad and you won't be a um, very courteous driver. But whatever lane you're in, hug that left side because more bad things happen on the right side. You've got the edge of the road. You've got street signs, tree limbs. So just things to think about. Those tree limbs can be super expensive, but if you happen to get um, a big old scratch on your coach, which is so sad, make sure you bring it to National Indoor RV Centers. I have a collision and repair video that you'll want to go and check out. Um, anyway, if you get in a fender bender, any kind of collision, first call should be to National Indoor RV Centers. So if you've watched my videos before, you know that I always do the dust bowl reader so you can see how quiet it is in the coach. So it's 67.7 in the Vista. So I think that's super quiet, um, just a little bit louder than it is in my uh, 2006 Toyota Sequoia. Okay, so I don't have a brand new car, but it's you can easily have a conversation with your co-pilot. You can holler to the kids in the back because this is, this is the comfy cruiser. So you're gonna take the whole family. This chassis for Winnebago comes standard with electronic stability control. So when you go around sharp turns, you're not gonna feel that tilt. They also have thicker sway bars, so it's gonna give you a more smooth, strong ride. Now I'm going around a pretty good curve here. It says I need to go 45 miles per hour, so I'm gonna slow down just a little bit, but I want you to see how it takes this turn. So we're on a tight turn here. Literally, I feel no sway whatsoever. I felt no tilt. Um, we've got the electronic stability control those enhanced sway bars, I can really feel a difference. I mean, super smooth, right? <laughs> and I took that at 50 miles per hour. I probably should have slowed down a little bit more because the sign said 45. Don't tell anyone, just a secret between me and you. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my cruise control because that's really when the trip starts for me. Once I'm on cruise, so let's turn it on and I'm gonna get up to 55 miles per hour here set it okay now I can just sit back and enjoy this beautiful panoramic view of our beautiful country again I have very little interruption in my view because I've got such small a pillars here because of the steel superstructure so that's great then I've got this amazing I've got this new steering wheel that's very comfortable to drive with this new Ford chassis and the V8 engine. Really, the only way that you can truly experience this yourself is to come to National Indoor RV Centers and take one out for a test drive. We try to make the experience very pleasant. It's not like you're going to a car dealership. This is RVing. Um, you're shopping for something that maybe you've been saving uh, for, for a lifetime. So this is a great way to see our country, great way to work right now. With all the craziness that's going on, and so many of us have found that we can work remotely, we can work from home. So why not make your home in an RV so that you can be at a national park um, on the weekend, work in your RV during the weekdays. Anyway, it's a great lifestyle. Give us a call at National Indoor RV Centers. Come and visit us, we'd love to see you. Thank you so much for joining me today on the tour of the 2021 Winnebago Vista 35U. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how much this beautiful coach would cost you. Well, MSRP is $174,454. MAP pricing, which is minimum advertised price, is $130,840. If you want to find out what I can sell you this coach for, give me a call at 
1330 or you can email me at angie at nirvc.com or go visit our website nirvc.com and see all the options that are available to you. We make doing business with National Indoor RV Centers super easy. We take in trades, we do consignments, we offer financing. You can finance an RV for up to 20 years. You, we do extended service plans. We do whatever we can to make it easy and help you get into the RV lifestyle as quickly and easily as possible. And remember, with our volume and economies of scale, RVs simply cost less with National Indoor RV Centers. Now don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please hit the like and subscribe. Also go and check out my Winnebago factory tour video, my RVing 101 series video. And remember, if you ever happen to get your coach in a little collision, you need some repair work, your first call should be to National Indoor RV Centers. Go and check out my collision and repair video. Thank you so much for spending this time with me and have a wonderful day.